la 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 Se la anarquica puyese borra y pare enamorar A pari en biblioteca from Fitness Weber are here with me. Um, you've just been on a mini tour through Germany, playing in Stuttgart and in Hamburg. What was it like? Uh, it was fantastic, really. We had the best time ever here in Germany. Two fantastic shows with the best audience of uh, our contest so far. So we really had a great time while playing and even after show it was really amazing. We really looked forward to come back. It was fantastic. Yeah, you should. Um, you also played, um, I think, two or three songs from the new album, yeah. which is called Cosmos, and which will come out in next begin uh, spring of next year. Yeah, so just I tell so. us, yeah, just tell us a bit more. What what can we expect? Well, actually, uh, we are starting recording uh, in the middle middle of September, I guess, and uh, it will take three months, hopefully, for us to record the full album, and you know, it's gonna be a in my opinion, step forward, the, per the first album, Personal Train. Um, it's a bit more complicated, but it still has got a strong pop uh, focus on it. Maybe something is more uh, focused on a 70s sound instead of the 60s feeling that has a personal train. But uh, it will, will uh, be really interesting for fitness fans, I'm yeah. sure. And so, so are there more more songs that you have finished already? Because you just played, I think you played the one with the little dog, yeah. that was new, and another one that was new, oh, yeah. and Botellon, which is not exactly very new, because you told me you, you had this before for your other band. No, no, no. 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 It was, it's new, so I just yeah. strong. It's new, it's, new. it's also great. Yeah. Yeah. So well, uh, yeah. uh, um, the, the song you are talking about is the song that finished the show, the yes, last song. It was ah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was But Yes, that's a an old song. Yeah. But it's an old, yes, that's yes. what I meant. It's yeah. an oldie, yes. yeah, I, I played uh, with, with my... With another band before Fingers yeah. Forever. Yeah. yeah, the famous Valde Ram 5. Yeah, we all know. And uh, it was one of the last songs I wrote with Valde Ram 5, but it was still very funny to play and uh, we needed more songs to play live with Fit and Fur because mm -hmm. we are on first album mm -hmm. and we have really few songs to play actually and to uh, fulfill a track list we had to yeah. take some stuff for, from Valderrama but I'm actually very happy that you like it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, I couldn't, I mean, I told you before, I could. I thought, hey, what well, is a very nice cover version, who wrote it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but there are more more songs that are finished for the new album, why is the writing? Of course, uh, I, the, the writing process, process is uh, finished because um, we are supposed to start in two months from now and I spent almost two years writing the new album and I um, wrote one album that was specifically disco, disco sound but at the end after one year and a half of, of writing and producing uh, 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 demos I didn't like it at all so I just mm, yes. put it aside and start writing a new yes. record instead okay. and it took me three months to write the actual actual Cosmos record and uh, it was really fast process this time and this was this was like okay this is it <laughs> and you didn't see him a lot during that time or yeah, was yeah, he, yeah, yeah. yeah so he was just hiding in his room or I don't know <laughs> <laughs> he was hiding in uh, his kitchen <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so um, and you are will you record it in your studio in Naples? Yeah, we yeah. Have, have a brand new studio in Naples because uh, Antonio and Luigi, which are the keyboard player and bass mm -hmm. player, are also producers. They own a studio in Naples and they built a new one in the very center of Naples, and uh, it's got a um, very old console. And our mm -hmm. console from the 70s, live console, the, the um, musician will know what I'm talking about. It's very fantastic to 
24 tracks and a console and we are mixing and recording on that, that desk so the record will have especially a very analog feeling on it um, so it will uh, really play warm and uh, I hope uh, that uh, will be amazing for uh, our listeners. Yeah. So, but so you're con you, yeah, but you saw you're confident that it will be finished and released at the, in early next year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we want to um, speed up the process of recording yes. because we are expecting to uh, play a lot live mm -hmm. and we need the summer after the record to to play live a lot. So yeah. we really uh, must be concentrated. Of course, the studio costs a lot. And uh, since it costs, uh, we can spend uh, really more than three months recording. Yeah. So it would be like, uh, come on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. let's do record at night, but let's finish it. I don't want to spend more than three months uh, doing Cosmos because uh, I spent uh, already enough time uh, composing it, uh, yeah. and uh, it's enough. It's for enough. Me. No. Yeah. So now let's talk about you, Pastor. No, because, <laughs> because you are not just the amazing singer and performer who stands in front together with Nicoletta, but you are, I mean, she's like a guest musician supporting you live or on record or, no, or, or is she also part now of she's it now? Now she's a, is part of our yeah. band. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's an important part of our yeah. fitness forever. It's so precious for us. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you look so team. sweet together. It's fantastic. <laughs> Thank but, you. Um, <laughs> Except from singing, you also have some, uh, I would say, a whole bunch of other talents. Just tell me, what else do you do? You draw? Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. In my spare time, I, I like to draw, I like drawing and... Uh... It's not your spare time, it's your work, actually. It's not your spare time. Come on. <laughs> they pay for it. <laughs> No, it's not true. <laughs> did, you, did you pay for the new for the new poster? Yeah, of course. You did. Lots of money. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. for example, you lots of pizzas, uh, <laughs> lots of dinners. <laughs> because you drew the the little bicycle, the two people on the bicycle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I don't know. Do we know anything else that you drew? I think on your MySpace page there was also some drawings from you. But yeah, yeah some uh, so really uh, sweet some um, doodles. <laughs> so Japanese uh, inspired yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, Japanese stuff is my. I love it, my passion. <laughs> yeah, and you also yeah, have, yeah. is it true that you also have a degree from university in Japanese? Yes, yes. I, studied, so, I studied Japanese language at uh, university, but uh, I don't remember <laughs> anything. <laughs> I just uh, can't say hello in Japanese nowadays. Not yeah. It's not true, yeah. It's I know. So I, know. Not true, but <laughs> I can see you also good night. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> It's not true. No, it's not true. <laughs> you know, the Japanese language is such a it's difficult. So hard. It's so hard. It's so hard. And it, if I don't go to Japan, I... of course, if you don't go there and stay some time there, yeah. it's really difficult to actually speak Japanese. But she spent many time studying it, and she's brilliant in <laughs> reading, and she can can easily write and mail to a Japanese guy. Previously. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, this is really what you what you did at university. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah, 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 I mean yeah. you. <laughs> Whatever you say, you can do it. <laughs> so, um, and also on tour, you're supported by three other musicians: uh, mm -hmm. the singer Nicoletta, um, Ernesto, who plays guitar, yes. and Andrea, who is the drummer. So, um, are they now? What would you say? Are they now part of the band? Do they also record in the studio then, or? Well, um, surely they were took part of the recording. Uh, you know, um, the our first record, uh, Luigi, the bass player, yeah. also took part of, um, to record it, almost every guitar on it. I just recorded um, rhythm guitar because I'm not good at all at playing guitar, so I just did the rhythms, uh, <laughs> rhythm section, and then Luigi recorded the, all the lead guitars, but this time, um, and I also played drum because I, I've i been a drummer for like 10 years or something, so there was no drummer at the time of the first record, so I just took uh, the, my place behind the drum set and I recorded them. But this time we have a very good drummer in the band, Andrea, and um, hopefully he will be doing the drum, all the drum uh, recording session. And uh, as well, Ernesto as well will uh, record some guitar. I hope that Luigi is still recording some guitar because he's very good in uh, creating guitar layers uh, and, um, but surely the whole band will take uh, his place in recordings. Yeah. 
And also, um, ex except from the work on your own album, you also told me about some other things that you did together with Guy Milky Way, oh, which yes. sounded <laughs> incredible. Just tell me more about it. <laughs> yeah, we, um, Guy, spent some of the last years um, creating and recording music for a cartoon uh, that is due to be released, uh, I think, uh, later this year or maybe in the first month of uh, 2012. And it's called Jelly Jam. It's a European production between Spain, UK, with the um, designers and drawers from all, basically all around Europe. And uh, it's very fantastic cartoon with special drawings and fantastic uh, soundtrack uh, written by Guy and Milky Kiwi. And uh, this cartoon Who is, is of the band La Casa Azul. Yes, yeah, yeah. from the band La Casa Azul, the same record label of Fitness Forever, which yeah. is Elephant Record from Madrid. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and the cartoon will be released in uh, the whole of Europe. And the funny thing is that Elephant Record actually asked uh, members of Elephant Band all around Europe to um, translate to and to adapt the, the lyrics songs. of Guia songs in uh, more languages, so it would be like a speed market avenue mm -hmm. doing the S Swedish version, Stereo Total taking um, care of uh, French and German version, mm -hmm. you know, actually Bretzel uh, from the German, from a German duo Stereo Total will do the German version, and uh, asked us to do uh, the Italian version, and it was really a fantastic work, you know, because the songs are so great, I will maybe... Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you just give it, maybe you can yeah. have no, you just <laughs> didn't give me an idea. The Chinese of yeah. and uh, something of the Italian yeah. version, yeah. but I hope Luis is not uh, seeing this video. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, yeah. So, um, it's, 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 so maybe the best music released by Guille by now, so mm -hmm. really you have to look forward to it because it's fantastic work by him. Yeah, which is amazing because everything he, he has written until now is amazing. And so it's, and it's better yeah, than yeah. ever, so we really expect something, yeah. something really special. Okay, so thank you very much. I just wanted to add one more thing in German because I wanted to say, um, ich wollte noch sagen, das Album gibt es nur als Import, kann man bei den einschlägigen Online-Versandhäusern aber trotzdem bestellen oder direkt bei Elephant Records. Um, okay, so thank you for being here and hope to see you soon. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Dankeschön.